What is going on everybody? I am Engineering Hooksets. Welcome to another video. Today we are kayak fishing the Mackinac River here in central Illinois. If you guys enjoy the video, please do me a favor and subscribe. We're cruising. We're floating. There's musky and pike in here. You're in a closed in kayak. This is pretty dirty for the Mackinac. This is like, this is like Sangamon water. I wonder how many people have casted a line today in this spot. Probably like 40. Y'all, we saw so many people tubing. Oh, and the takeout spot where we parked, there was not kidding over 20 cars. Hopefully most of those people were not fishing, but who knows? What are the odds my wife fishes today? Small. Small? You're not gonna fish? I'm Shout out to Phil, by the way, if you're watching this. Thank you, Phil, for letting us use your kayak. What's my goal today? Five fish. I want to catch five fish today. They'll probably all be smallmouth. Be cool to get something else. There's pike out here. There's muskie on this river. There's walleye, sauger, sawguy. Could snag an Asian carp. Could catch an actual carp. Those bite lures. Drum, lots of drum. Do you see that? I got hit. I'm getting hit right now. Small mouth. Oh, he bit it like four times. Okay, guys, I just got my first bite of the day. That's good news. There's got to be something chilling in the shade over here. Can I catch a fish, bro? Yeah. Been fishing for like almost an hour now. It's cool, Cliff. You know what would be even cooler than a pink ice rod and a pink kayak? What? A mini George Foreman grill cooking brats. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, let's take a quick pause here. Did you see that? Did you see that fish? Yep, that's a northern pike. Bit me right at the boat side. See the, see the pointed nose? And in that frame right there, you can see the, uh, the spots on it. For those of you who don't know, pike are like moderately rare on this river. So that would have been a pretty cool catch. Oh, well. That's fishing. I just got bit. Or I ran into a fish. It wasn't very aggressive. Maybe I just ran into an Asian carp. That's a pretty cool bridge. If they're like jumping, it must be pretty deep. How deep is that up there? Deep enough to jump off the bridge. Shoot, that's pretty cool. We got some bridge jumpers. Praise the Lord for my legs! <laughs> <laughs> nice. I didn't hit bottom that time. He got that on video. But my butt hurts. <laughs> You're going on the internet. All right, guys, this spinner bait is not doing the trick. All right, y'all, we're switching it up. Whopper Plopper 60. Put a swivel on there just in case it starts barrel roll. Hopefully this is the move. It has been a horribly long time now. And by that, I mean almost two hours with no fish caught. It's probably not a good time to be throwing top water. I mean, it's hot as heck out, but you gotta try. I should probably be, honestly, I should probably be throwing like a weedless Ned rig. Ooh. It's like an amusement park. Oh my gosh, a smallie just right by the boat. I just got followed up by a smallmouth and he short struck it like two inches from the kayak. And now my lure's stuck in a plastic bag. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Big fish just followed it up. I don't know what that was, but a big fish just followed it right up. I don't know. I don't, I didn't feel, feel like it looked like a smallmouth, but I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, got him. Oh, that's big. What is that? What the heck is that? What the heck? Can you come film me, babe? Yeah, I'm trying. That was like a muskie or something. Oh my gosh, it is. Wait, no. Is that an Asian carp? Wait, but it bit. What the heck? I'm so confused. It's an Asian carp, but it like blew up on it. It's a freaking, oh my gosh, no, it's a grass carp. I've actually never caught a grass carp. This is a new species for me. And it like blew up on it too. 
Well, this would be great if I had my other camera on. Go figure, now's when I don't have my camera on when I hook this thing. Here, can you come like pull me to shore? Oh my gosh. Here, you know what? Hold up, hold up. I'm gonna take this thing to shore. To shore. Oh, that shore? Yeah. Oh, don't break my ice rod. Don't break my ice rod. Is it hooked well? I don't know. I have no idea. It, it like, actually bit. It's a, a grass carp. Never caught one of those before. Hopefully this ice rod's... Oh my gosh, it's gonna break my freaking ice rod. sharp gill plate in there so still an invasive species but that's kind of a cool invasive species that is a crazy fish on the whopper flopper he's bleeding a lot but it's an invasive species so it, it's okay carp are like such an interesting species because there's some people that like love them and there's other people that like kill all of them and they are invasive so i think technically you're supposed to kill them but it's kind of cool i mean that was a heck of a fight there you go, one eighth ounce black, I think, oh no, it's called Loon, Whopper Flopper. Big old grass carp. First one I've ever caught. I want to get a weight on him. I don't know, like, should I kill him? It's an invasive species. Or should I just leave him be? Okay. Nine pounder? 8.86. He was bleeding pretty good. I think he's gonna die. Um, we're gonna put him back, but he's an invasive species, so like, you know, probably honestly should kill him anyway, but I just don't really wanna do that. Right. Yeah, that's one of those things where it's like, oh yeah, go figure my chest cam was like in the cooler because it was overheating. But uh, yeah, that was actually pretty cool. I've never caught a grass carp, and then I just got one on a whopper plopper, which is like, what? I don't know. Still can't believe I haven't got a smallmouth. We're like three hours into this float, which is pretty surprising. It's actually kind of not surprising when you consider how many Asian carp we've seen. Asian carp have kind of ruined this river, which is really sad, but we're gonna keep after it, and it's getting cooler out, so hopefully the bite is gonna pick up here. Hopefully we can get a sport fish. Dude, that grass carp blow up was like violent. I mean, it wanted it. I thought grass carp just like ate vegetation. Well, I guess that makes sense because like, you know, opportunistic carnivores, like horses will eat like a baby duck. I need to cast to the right. This is the type of habitat that grass carp was in. Calm, overhanging limbs. Oh, there's a nope rope. See it? What kind of snake is that? Probably just like a water snake. I think its head is round. What's up? You know, not catching many fish, but at least it's a pretty day out. If you're watching this, I caught a couple more fish. There's a gar under my kayak. Literally right under the front of my kayak. He just bit it. Oh, he had it! Come on. Oh, we had it. Oh my God. No, I'm tangled on my other rod. All right, hopped out for a second. Gonna try the jerk bait. Dude, these things are the best looking jerk baits ever. Rapala, Rapala, Shadow Rap Shads. They look so good. I have it tied on, but I like don't want to throw it much because I would get it snagged and almost guaranteed lose it in a kayak. But like, they look insane. The action is killer. 
The look underwater is killer. Everything about these is fantastic. Did I just get bit? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's another grass car. Oh my gosh. What the heck? It's giant. What do I do? Help. Help. What do you need me to do? I don't know. Okay. It's a grass carp. Oh, don't break my rod. Dude, I got soaked. Oh, don't break that rod. It's okay, it's a catfish rod, it's a catfish rod. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Grass carp love whopper ploppers. That was, that was a violent topwater hit. I thought it was a big catfish at first. Oh my gosh. I wonder if this is going to be bigger than the last one. Oh. oh my goodness. Get the fish. Get the fish when it does that. It's going to do it again. Here. Get the fish. Goodness, they fight so hard. Who knew they hit topwaters? Who knew? I think this one is a little bigger. I think this one is a little bigger. <laughs> what do they call these? Like freshwater tarpon or something? There's some sort of like name for these that is escaping me. Oak. Okay. Ah, similar size, maybe bigger. You think this one's bigger? Maybe a little bit. Should I weigh him? Do it. Oh. <laughs> Stand by. Hold on. He's a tricky one. He's a tricky one. Splash the absolute heck out of me. Man, they, they like the whopper plopper. What the heck? Some people legitimately consider these sport fish. Some people like go out with fly rods and like catch these on like little fake pieces of corn and stuff. Maybe 8.15, so maybe a little smaller actually. There he is. All right, let's put him back. Should honestly probably kill it, but I don't really feel like doing that. How am I, how am I like the grass carp angler now? I can't catch a small mouth. We've been on this river for like, what, almost five hours? We've been on this river for like five hours. I can't catch a small mouth, but I can get two giant grass carp. Auto whopper plopper, what, what? Well guys, that's our takeout spot right over at that bridge. So this looks like a pretty quick spot here. I think the fish are gonna like the quicker water. So I'm gonna toss the old jerk bait around just to a little bit. See if we can pull something out of the fast water. What's up, boo? Trying to kayak or not? Nah? Guess at least I didn't get skunked. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, uh, I think I'm still gonna post this, even though I didn't catch any like game fish because grass carp. I've never caught a grass carp before, so that was pretty neat. And also, I mean, they were just giant fish that hit top water and fought like crazy. So that was actually pretty cool. I don't know. Maybe I can like find enough random paddling time in the rest of the video to make it cool. Shout out to my wife. Thanks for coming with. Appreciate you.
that was her first time ever kayaking a river. She said she had fun, so. But yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.